I want to go ahead and make you a little video of this problem uh, because I think that it's a little harder to learn to interpret graphs. That's something that we actually learn in this course. So this was 25 on 2.6 and the first part they said, they said given the graph of y equals the absolute value of x minus 1 minus 4, all right? And so that's the only, they're only looking at the left-hand side of this. They're saying y equals that, right? The graph of that is this absolute value graph, which is like a V, all right? And it's a solid line. The graph of y equals negative 1, remember that's a horizontal line, is a dotted line. And they want you to interpret the graph to solve this absolute value inequality. So what it's asking is, when is this side less than the negative 1? So you're looking at the graph. All right, here's the absolute value graph. Let me blow it up bigger. So this V is your absolute value graph. When is it less than? So when is it below the dotted line? Well from negative 2 to 4 is when it is below. So this is from the graph from negative 2 and we had an equals in that original inequality so we will use a bracket. From negative 2 to 4 that little piece is below the dotted line, so that is where it's smaller than the other one. So that's our answer, uh, and then they want us to graph the solution set. So really, you don't have to do it algebraically at all. I'm going to do it algebraically, but we'll go ahead and put the answer in. So interval. So it is brackets and brackets, uh, negative 2, comma, 4. And if we want to graph it on here, so I have brackets, so closed circle on negative 2 and 4. Shade in between, and we'll make sure that's correct. If it's not, Mrs. H would delete this video. All right, um, now let's switch and do it algebraically and see that we get the same answer. So that was just interpreting it. They gave you the graph. If they give you the graph, sure, use it. Um, for you to graph it yourself, it's more work. So, to do it algebraically, we'll just go back to the top line. So, and I didn't copy, right? I didn't copy the whole thing. X minus 1. I should have had an absolute here. Right. Remember, step 1 is isolate your absolute. So get this 4 off, you're going to add a 4. And then you're ready to think about, okay, where is this? All right, this one is less than. So whatever is in here is less than three spaces away from 0. So here is our 0. So three spaces would be here, and negative 3. So it's going to be in between here. Now this is not your final graph, but this tells you this is a compound inequality because it wants the middle piece. So take your absolutes off, use negative 3, take your absolutes off, and positive 3, and then solve it all together. So you're going to add a 1 all the way across. 
and this gives us negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. And if we want to do a little graph of that, here's our negative 2, here's our 4, right? x is between those, and we want a bracket on each of those, and then it would be negative 2, 2, 4 which is the same solution that we got algebraically interpreting the graph. So I hope this is helpful for you.